So let's take a look at what sign diagrams are and how we create sign diagrams from uh, the graphs themselves. So let's start with explaining what a sign diagram actually is. Basically a sign diagram is a horizontal diagram that shows the important information of where any X intercept or asymptote may exist, but also whether the graphs in the positive above it or in the negative. So where it changes sign. For example, in this one here, we can see that our Y value starts in the positive over here, but it cuts through the X axis at negative seven and then dips below into negative values for our Y. So then it becomes negative. Then in between here, it changes from being negative at negative two of the X intercept and becomes a positive value again. So it becomes positive here. Then it cuts through one last time at positive three in the X intercept and becomes negative. So what we in essence wanna do is we wanna show this just using the X axis essentially. So we redraw an X axis like this and we start by putting the important piece of information down, these intercepts down. So we know that it passed through at negative seven, at negative two, and at positive three. And you don't have to worry about scales here with sine diagrams. So we know that before negative seven, that it's gonna be positive, the graph itself, it's gonna be above the x-axis. In between negative seven and negative two, it's below the x-axis, so it's negative. In between negative two and positive three, it's above the x-axis, so it becomes positive again. And then after three, it goes below the x-axis, so it's negative again. And we wanna say that this is our x-axis. So here is a sign diagram that represents this information. Now, if we're given this information, we could provide a sketch like we did here, because we know that it will start up here, it will cut through and become negative, it will cut through again, become positive, then it will cut through down here and become negative again. That's what the sign diagram shows. So let's take a look at what happens when we've got these asymptotes involved. Well, this graph here, the important information on our x-axis is this asymptote at x is negative five, the intersect at the origin, and the asymptote when x is equal to three. So let's start by just drawing our x-axis in without the important information down at this stage. Now, we already know how to put an intercept in, so let's put the intercept of zero in the middle here. And now we've got to indicate this asymptote. Now on the graph, we generally actually indicate an asymptote with a dotted or dashed line. So I'm actually gonna do the same here. So instead of doing a solid line, I'm gonna draw a dashed line to my number to indicate here that this is an asymptote, not an intersection. I'll do the same when I'm doing this positive three value to indicate that these two are asymptotes. This one here is an intersect. So now we continue by breaking down where the graph is in terms of it being above or below this x-axis. So before the first asymptote, it's above, so it's positive in our y value. Then in between negative five and the origin, it's below, so it's a negative. Then between the origin and positive three in the x, it's above it again, so it's positive. And then over here, when x is uh, greater than three, it's below again, so it's negative. So we indicate that down here on our sign diagram. So to recap, a sign diagram shows the important information of where it cuts the x-axis or where it has any vertical asymptotes. It also indicates whether the graph in between these points is above or below the x-axis. Mm -hmm.